a brief history of the relationship between the Black Gorilla family, the Crips, and the Bloods. The Black Gorilla family, the BGF, were created inside California prisons as a revolutionary organization with the specific mandate to support the revolutionary movement being spearheaded by the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense and the Black Liberation Army, the BLA. Inside California prisons, the BGF would protect, support, educate, train, and lead African men in revolutionary ideology, military tactics, and progressive culture. The role of defender became primary assignment of the BGF due to the overt racist practices and policies of prison administrators and their lackeys in the white supremacist gang, the Aryan Brotherhood, the AB, and the Mexican Mafia, the MA, who would consistently attack Africans and target BGF, and often they were supported by the guards. The BGF functioned at all prisons in California, but would eventually eventually the majority of its members would be regulated to four maximum security prisons of that time which housed the administrative segregation units at seg better known as the whole at soledad as it was max row o-wing san quentin the adjustment center and El Fosum, 4a and later addition to the whole would be security housing units the shu one and the shu two at Tracy Y Wing. Prison administrators took special care in keeping the known leadership of the BGS isolated and locked up inside the holes, labeling them as threats to the safety and security of the institutions across the state. However, BGF were still able to organize and establish cadres on the main line of most prisons in Oakland and Los Angeles, California. By the time Crips and Bloods gangs began to fill up California prisons, the BGF were well established and organized and supported by the majority of African prisoners who respected what the BGF were doing and no doubt appreciated the help the BGF gave to them when it came to countering the assaults and attacks from racist guards and prisoners. The Bloods and Crips entering California prisons were young street gang members who had formed together to combat and kill one another Neither group had any political or progressive interest in their beginnings and were loosely organized as small groups with one leader of the group or a neighborhood calling them shots simply because he was the biggest, baddest, and most violent dude in the neighborhood and had a reputation amongst his peers to be quick to fight or try to kill someone. The Crips' identity were blue rags and most often reflected in the personality of their leader's violent, wild, and unpredictable attitudes. Today, there are writers asserting the Crips' original design as a group of young African men was, who was patterned after the Black Panther Party for self-defense and even had a 10-point platform similar to the BPP. Create the fellas and get together and, you know, we get whack, which is, you know, when I say whack, you know, smoke that dust and go out and make a move, you know, and, in the process of making a move and making money, you know, we, the dust is already in our mind, you know, just gone and might tear off a couple of guns, and one of the homeboys might say, well, hey, dog, let's ride on the different lanes, you know, I, I might say, well, splendid dogs, you know, and the name we get on, we go make a bus, right? Community, revolutionaries, and progress, that's crib. Community, revolutionaries in progress. I found no information nor evidence to substantiate this claim made 50 years after the creation of this gang. If the founders of this group designed it to be in the likeness of the BPP, Black Panther Party, there were numerous examples of the BPP utilizing the media to clarify their intentions in the community and put forth their agendas. When the local media in Southern California began reporting on the Crips, on their violent activity in the African American community, the reporters didn't know for sure what to call them because the word Crip didn't mean anything to anyone. 
The violence being carried out by Crip gang members caused one reporter to speculate the spelling out of the word to be crypt, which means underground chamber or vault sometimes used as a burial place, implying the Crips were sending a message to their rivals, we're going to send you to your grave. This notion was replayed over and over in local media, giving the founders of the group ample opportunity to respond and set the record straight regarding who and what they were. But there would be no response. Perhaps those members of the Crips were being sought by the police for the brutal crimes they were carrying out in the African, com African community and could not show their faces.